Okay. Uh, let's check the latest event back in Sumeru. Coming as the Sub Series Festival, and now it's full. It's now in full swing in Sumeru. Okay, go to quest. We we'll got a new Candace apparently. The first sub festival was part of the main quest, right? It wasn't really... Huh? Uh, at a specific time of the year, right? Uh. Hey! Tainari and Kali are over there! <gasps> and Dia and Candace are with them! Let's go see how! Oh, again, people not voice. I run good with their assignment. Then let's get the show on the road. Will this be common now? Oh, and again, please be careful. Last thing we want is for her to find out our butter plan. Don't worry about that. Mercenaries can keep a secret like our lives depend on it. I'm not sure this scenario is quite that extreme. You know what I mean, Candace. It's just a figure of speech. Mm, I'm still kind of nervous. It's not that I'm scared I'll let something slip, but it's just... What if she suddenly shows up behind me without warning? Hey there! What are you guys talking about? Why is Paimon watch them? Uh, nothing, I swear. <laughs> I don't know anything you don't know. I'm not hiding anything. You're definitely hiding something. Just tell us, the cats are already out of the bag. Calm down, Kali. At least check who it is before I freak out. Ignos Spymo, face is seeing you here. Great to see you all. Oh, it's you too. I scare me half to death. Just like when I lose focus in class, Master Tainer suddenly shows up behind me. But even scarier. Uh, does it, does it teach? more people in the class, so their voice seems a bit hard to lose focus, being the single student. Are you here for the sub festival? Yep! Festivals are always so fun! It seemed like the perfect time to come back and hang out with all of our friends! This one is extra special. I hear, I heard from Master that the Academy is planning a great birthday celebration for the Dendro Oracle. Well, it is always her birthday at the festival. Uh, perhaps it's a small time to make amends for the past behavior. Shouldn't they have done that two years ago? <laughs> or at least we came the, at the year after time. their A grand celebration calls for even more good food and fun than usual! Like, what were you gossiping about just now? I might heard something about a secret. Uh, over here too, I'll explain her thing in private. We're preparing a birthday surprise for the Dendro Arco. Ooh, a birthday surprise? The one that can read our minds. It was Dia's idea, actually. Oh, well, it was just something that occurred to me while talking with Dunya's art. Oh, uh, yeah, she, we never saw her again. The sub Festival always seemed to follow the same formula, so I figured a change of pace might be nice. The others are like the idea, and so did the others, so we got the ball rolling pretty quickly. If we want this to be a surprise, the fewer people who know, the better. We are dealing with the God of Wisdom here. A single slip of the tongue is enough to spot the whole thing. Yeah, that all makes sense. So, um, do we have to keep talking like this until the festival ends? Uh, so, anyway, we've only asked a few of our friends to help out since they happen to have some free time. So, what exactly are you planning? Well, uh, we heard that Dendro Archon loves candy, so we want to take advantage of that. We're also planning a birthday meal after the carriage para parade, so we'll have a hefty meal a feast as well. We left most of the specifics to Kave right now. All we, 
All we need to do is purchase the food and decoration. Is there anything we can do to help? Yeah, put us to work! Now that we're in on the plan, we should do something to contribute! Hey, Candace, weren't you looking for someone to help you with the shopping? Yeah, I've been in the desert so alone, I was worried I wouldn't be the best judge of the goods around here. I can help with that. Yeah, it's not like we were around either. As long as it's not too much trouble. No trouble at all, we're more than happy to help! Uh, hey, it seems like you're really learning your manners, Pamela. I'll happily take you... Uh, take you up on that offer then. Alright, it's settled. Tainar will book the venue, Daniel and I will take care of the decorations, and you three are our own food. Ooh, so exciting! This is gonna be the best birthday surprise Nahida could ask for! Shh. Oh, right. Paimon almost forgot. Gotta keep it a secret. Give her surprises. Yeah, I don't know, so... Alright, let's see Rocking Carriage. Mapping Dreams in Reality. Shadow of the Knight's Blade. Uh, what else do we have here? A favor, uh, fervor, birthday celebration, anecdotes. Uh, okay, let's do the quest first. The no, I'm not gonna cross the bridge. Oh, she's almost died because of the fall before the cutscene. I think she had oh, more health. There's before. all kinds of delicious scents in the air today. The sea breeze in Port Ormos isn't even enough to cover them up. Uh, this is the final stop of the carriage parade. As so many of the vendors decided to set up their stalls in advance, the city is a lot more lively than usual. The same goes for our village. Ah, should pass by to see if it's different. Everyone's doing their part to make this a truly forgettable subsurface festival. <laughs> well, with all these vendors, there's no way we're going back empty handed. Just leave the haggling to us! Alright then, let's. Oh. Uh. What's wrong? Okay, I'm fine. Hmm. Sorry for making worry, let's go to the store and place an order. Welcome! What can I get for you today? Okay. It's so weird that a random NPC is voice and not the one's revision. Uh, we'd like to place an order for the Subzars Festival. Could you have them ready for pickup after the parade? Ah, no problem at all. What'll it be? We'll take three orders, each of ma masala cheese balls, potato boats, and curry shrimp, and ten orders of pani puri. One sec. Let me jot this down. Potato boats, pani puri. All right. We'll have that ready as scheduled. That's a fairly sizable order. Does that mean we can expect a discount? <laughs> of course. Let me see. That should come to 29,000 mora, but you can have it for 26,000. How's that sound? Mm, what about 20,000? Huh? Well, she really went for it. Ah, oh, that's a bit tricky. We're going to be fairly busy that day, and we're setting aside all these ingredients for your order. What if I... Have five orders of samosas. Would that help lower the price? Well, in that case, the most I can offer is twenty percent off. 
from the 29 or from the new price that would be uh, from the 29 that would be 33,000 in a few more ready to take it thanks so much of course of course thank you for your order uh, so it turns out Candace is way better at haggling than us. Yeah. Oh, one more thing. Oh, something you wanted to add to your order, miss? No, I just wanted to remind you to keep an eye on the fire you've got going there. If you let it burn too long, it could become a safety ha hazard. Oh, thanks for your concern, but I replaced the charcoal earlier today, so it should be... Okay. <laughs> There's so much smoke. Explode like that. Oh. <laughs> Is it safe to leave our hearts with him? Are you alright? Uh, I'm fine, thanks. Uh, it's just. That was so strange. Was it the wind generator? <laughs> oh, it's certainly possible. I had a similar problem not too long ago. I thought switching to this one would fix the issue, but... We can look in the true cause of the problem a bit later. What matters now is that you're alright. Need any water? I've got some on me. <laughs> uh, I I'm alright. It seems like you got a good eye, miss. Just wish your warning came a little earlier. Probably could have avoided this scenario entirely. Uh, in any case, I'll definitely fix the stove today, so don't worry about any delays. Take your time, your health and safety are more important. I'll just leave the deposit here. Sounds good. See you soon. That was a close call. Good thing you're fast on your feet, Candace. How did you know something was wrong with the stove? I guess could call it a good feeling. It's hard to describe. Well, where should we go next? Preferably somewhere without any fire hazards. A Paimon's still a little traumatized by what happened. Let's go buy some fruits. We need to make the candy. Sounds good! It's been a while since we had the chance to shop at Port Ormos. Maybe we can pick up some other things along the way. Hmm. Welcome. Uh, what would you like to have? You can also cook your own. Uh, okay, no, it's just the regular stuff. Okay, I thought maybe you would mention something. Let's see. Uh, the fruit stand should be that way. Mm hmm. Uh, Candace, are you okay? Another premonition. Watch out. Uh -huh. Are you okay, little one? Uh, I'm fine. Thank you, miss. What happened? That crate came out of nowhere. Luckily, Candace saved that little girl before she got hit. Where are your parents, child? They're at the tavern by the harbor. But I got bored, so I came out to play. You're safe now, little one. Just be careful next time. Go back to your parents now, child. Uh, okay. Whose crates are these? They're, they're mine. How many times have I told you not to leave heavy objects by the road? When, when are you going to learn? I, I, I'm i sorry. It, it's just... We ran out of storage on our latest shipment. And? N n nothing. I'll take care of it right away. I won't do it again. <sighs> Thank you. 
Thank you, everyone. I should have been keeping a closer eye on everything. It's lucky you were here, Miss Candace. I really don't know how things would have turned out otherwise. No, it was nothing. Don't blame yourself, Sheriff. Understand just how difficult it is to look after the whole, a whole region. Uh, how big a region? For the Ormos or is it larger than the town? Uh, still, with the festival coming, we need your vigilance more than ever. I always feel like I could use an extra pair of eyes during Sabjura's season. I appreciate the reminder, Miss Candace. Anyway, you were probably in the middle of something, so I'll leave you to it. Enjoy the festival! That was some quick thinking, Candace. It was like you leapt into action before the crate even started to fall! Like you knew what was going to happen all along. Hmm. Actually, I did see something. I saw the great fall before it happened. Wait, you mean you saw the future? Yeah, something similar happened with the stove. I saw that it was about what was about to happen. The Eye of Prophecy. It's actually real. Did you ever hear about that? I don't think it's related to my Amber Eye. Growing up, it's never shown me any, any kind of strange phenomena. Uh, we never had a chapter with Candace, did we? I don't remember the ever mention in her eye. Just probably something about in the lore. Uh, but I never got time to read those things. Uh, but ever since this morning, I've been seeing things that don't match with reality. And after a few seconds, they actually come to pass. Have you told anyone else about this? Not yet. I still haven't determined if this is the true power of the prophecy or... And I don't want to make everyone worry. But why did it come all so suddenly? Did something happen this morning? Nothing out of the ordinary, really. I pray to the gods. May... Which gods? May my plan for the day and way to meet my friends. Although, if I had to think of something, I did buy this gem along the way. Wow, it's beautiful! There's something about it. So you sense it too. This gem seems to contain traces of unusual elemental energy. I only bought it because it piqued my interest. Could the gem be the source of the visions? It's certainly possible. Here, try it for yourself. Maybe you'll see something as well. I don't think anything happened. Well, it's not happening all the time. We should walk around with that. So, it doesn't work for just anyone. Perhaps there's some kind of trigger condition. Or could it be because of my connection to Lord Awamar? Maybe we could ask the others. Everyone's been so busy preparing for the festival, I really don't want to trouble them with something so trivial. Luckily, I don't have too many responsibilities over the next few days, so I can investigate on my own. It's part of my duty as a guardian. They can help too. Even better, having your, compa your company is like sitting around a bonfire with trusted companions. Your presence puts people at ease. Alright, let's finish our shopping first, then we can investigate the gem. At the very least, we should ask around the merchants' uh, circles for information on its origins. Speaking of merchants, Paimon can think of someone who's always in the know. Although getting information out of her is definitely gonna cost us. Oh, uh, you mean Dory? I've heard people talk about her in our village before. Yep, that's the one! But, uh, she's pretty touchy when it comes to Mora, so it's best not to haggle too much. She haggles. You purchase the fruits. You purchase the fruits on the shopping list. The vendor tells you where to find Dory. Fresh fruits and veggies, both quantity and quality. Come on, why are you make me cross the bridge again and again?
Here are the goods you asked for, as promised. All the best quality, I assure you. <laughs> Can I interest you in any of my newest offerings before I go? No? Well, see you around then. Dory! Well, if it isn't two of my most valuable customers. You know, we actually haven't spent that much money with her. I'm not sure, maybe we haven't even spent money with her. I miss Candace. Now, this is getting interesting. Is she that well known? Because she doesn't know you. What brings the guard of our village to my neck of the woods? All my business in the desert is strictly above board, I assure you. You misunderstand, Miss Dory. We're just here for some information. Oh, you're on the market for some intel. Well, you've come to the right place. I love dealing in information. It's easy to carry and even easier to hack up the price. Uh, uh, which is always very reasonable, of course. I bought a rather peculiar gem this morning, and I have, the, and I have the name of the merchant who sold it to me. I want to ask the merchant about the craftsman who cut this gem and where they got it. They got their car. Oh, so we're looking to track them now. Not an easy job. Uh, you come at a hefty price. Well, we don't necessarily have to track down the best specific person. If you have the way of retaining the information I seek, Miss Dory, I'll be happy to compensate you for the services as well. I can find a personal problem, but it's not as lucrative. I have a few connections who work with gemstones, so I'm better off charging them for the information directly. Well, no, you're, you're just asking the impossible. These kind of things tend to be trade secrets. Oh, it won't be easy to get the information, even from the Great Largus. Even for the Great Lord Sanama Bay. Just name your price. Now, if you insist, now let me see. There's the cost of travel, the gifts I'll have to buy. I'm thinking around 200,000 more. Yikes, that's steep! Next things are budget, I'm afraid. Can we go in lower? Well, our village has done me a few favors in the past, so I think we can strike a deal. Oh, why don't you make me an offer? How about 50,000 50, more? Excuse me? It's even more aggressive than back at the market. Something wrong? That's usually the going rate of this kind of intel in the desert. Impossible. I wouldn't even be able to put food on the table at that rate. You can't do it. Nope. Oh, what a shame. How about 30,000 more then? That, that's even lower. 30,000 more, plus food, shelter, and a security detail whenever you are in our village. I'll throw in a few tax exceptions as well. How does that sound? Uh, our village certainly has some promising business opportunities. Securing the protection of the local guardian isn't actually a bad trade. I'm not the only one profiting from this deal though. I bet she only made that offer so our village could benefit from the business activity too. What a scary woman. Uh, Alright. After some reflection, I've decided to forego all profit for this venture. Uh, 30,000 it is. So you just admitted that 170 was just profit. Uh, and now you know why my why people call you the number one merchant, Sumero. Uh, your generosity is truly a match. Of course, you're a steam client, Miss Candace. I stand more to gain from your friendship than anything else. So who cares about the more? If that's the case, then. And by that I mean, we landed on the perfect price, 30,000 as agreed. Just gonna have to trim my gym contact to uh, 500 more food stall instead. Uh, I really had to go out of my way to get these intel, so I'll need some time. Why don't you come back tomorrow? Of course, thank you, Miss Dory. You've been a huge help. You know, you've only just made back to Sumeru, why don't you take some time for yourself. I'll handle the rest of the artists. Really? Bottom feels kind of bad though. We didn't turn out to be much help. 
Don't say that. I dragged you in, into my own personal investigation. I should be the one apologized. It was nothing. Don't worry about it. And no, as always, may the gods protect you, Ignis. And you, Miss Doris, safe travels. I'll see you tomorrow. Yep, take care. Can we continue by just waiting to tomorrow? just left. I got here early and she had already started doing business so we wrapped things up right away. She left the city as soon as I handed her the travel permit and tax waiver I promised. Wow, she sure didn't waste any time. So how'd it go? Did she tell you where the gem came from? Yes, according to the local gem merchants, the ore was retrieved from a nameless ruin in the desert several months ago. The ruin is in very poor condition, even the writing on the walls is nearly impossible to read. Dora mentioned something even more concerning though, apparently the craftsman made another gem just like this one. So there's two? Yes, and the ore had a crack down the middle, the craftsman believed it would be impossible to repair, so they turned it, it into two gems instead. So where's the other gem now? That's exactly what I like to know. Uh, if this gem truly provides the power of foresight, the consequence could be detrimental in the wrong hands. Funny enough, I heard a caravan was robbed just this morning in a remote part of the desert. You think it's related to the other gem? Doesn't that kind of thing happens like all the time? I can't say for sure, but I do know this. Only small scale caravans or ones carrying important goods travel on remote paths like that. And their ro roots are highly confidential. So what they're saying is, when I attacked the caravan, was able to predict its exact location. Yeah, but you didn't exactly choose what you predict. It's certainly possible. Sounds like we need to investigate the site of the robbery. But uh, what about the preparations for the Subzeros festival? Let's say we can meet up with everyone later. If you hurry, we should be able to get back in time. Of course, if you have other plans, please don't feel obliged to come with me. Hey, we're in this together. There's no way we're backing out now. Let's head out. I should have known you'd say that. Thank you for your help. Your sweetness. Uh, no, I guess from here it would be faster than climbing up. That's not much. Actually, I should be using her. She's from here. No, she comes here. Frequently. I believe the robbery took place not too far from here. Wow, we really are in the middle of nowhere. Uh. Oh no, she doesn't come here frequently. Uh, in spam over here. Do you sense that? I sense a trace amount of elemental energy that we haven't used in a while. Exactly, many among the desert tribes are capable of wielding elemental energy, and the same is true for the army. 
Yeah, how did I never wonder? How do they how are they able to use that? Normal people usually don't. Some use the power to attack caravans and earn some quick more. Wait, are those broken planks over there? Yes, all that's left of the transport wagon, I would imagine. Strange, the wood looks charged. Was there an explosion? I see trace of activity over there. Let's follow the road and see what we can find. <gasps> Looks like something left behind the caravan. We made sure to pick a remote path and we still got ambushed. Shouldn't the main road be safer actually? Excuse me, sir, for the interruption. Ah! Oh, who's there? I'm Candice, the guardian of our village. I'm trying to learn more about the robbery that took place this morning. <laughs> guardian? Calm down. I think we're safe. Pretty sure stealing's not in a guardian's job description. Oh, yeah, right. That was weird. <laughs> Don't mind him. Some of our guys are still on edge after the robbery this morning. I can sympathize, of course. There's no need to be nervous. Although, is this where you plan to set up camp? Caravan Ribad isn't far, you know? <sighs> the robbery took everything from us. We can't just let that slide, so I'm taking my men to confront them and get back some of what they stole at least. Uh, would caution against that, especially when it looks like you are low on rations as it is. In the desert, impulsivity and overconfidence can be fatal. Uh, what was it they were transporting? Hazardous materials. <laughs> you said that with such calm. <laughs> Excuse me? Uh, for the love <laughs> of... You can't just say that. Listen, it was just some firecrackers and fireworks. That's all. But that's what the crates had written on them. Hmm. They're fireworks. What else would they be labeled as? Perishable goods? Ugh. Just ignore him, please. As you can see, some of my guys aren't particularly bright. If the guards at Caravan Rebot hear of this, we'll get questioned all over again. Hmm. So the chart marks on the planks are from the fireworks. And where... Where were you sending those goods? To some tribal camps in the desert. Everybody's looking to celebrate with the sub Zeros festival coming up. Even small businesses like us got a share of the orders. Mostly the long distance transports that no one else wanted. I see. Could you describe the robber to us? Well, it was like this. We had just set out on the remote path when... A web of thorns and vines suddenly blocked our way! Vines? What? No! Why would there be vines in the desert? Our wagon got stuck in the sand. That's what happened. I'm sure it was a trap. After that... Bombs started falling from the sky! Bombs? Oh, just stop talking. That robbery messed you up more than I thought. <laughs> Don't listen to his nonsense. He's just a bit shaken up by what happened. Anyway, as we were trapped, the bandits started firing rockets at us, which made a lot of the fireworks go off. In the middle of all the chaos, they ran off with the rest of our stuff. Did you see what they looked like? Uh, no, we couldn't really see anything. There was sand everywhere, and we were more preoccupied with getting out alive. Although, I did notice that one of the bandits had this green stone. Hmm. 
did look anything like this. Yes, exactly like that. I just couldn't make sense of it. I, I, if you already have something that valuable, why go after our cheap firecrackers? Unless the hardest materials were targeted for some other reason. Alright, I think I understand the situation. Thank you for your cooperation. I would still urge you to head to Carbon Ribbon and report that incident for your own safety. Don't let your anger lead you to do something foolish. Well, alright. We'll just take another quick break before we head over. Good, let's go. Shouldn't we look for the robbers? Instead of turning back. Alright, we should be out of earshot, so what do you think, Inus? I'm not sure about their goods, I'm not sure about their identity. Yeah, as I feel the same way, their leader was clearly hiding something. I think you can safely say those aren't simple firework shipments. And now, whatever hearts of those materials they were transporting have fallen into the hands of another group of entities. So, one group of bad guys attacked the other? It's very possible. In any case, our biggest concern right now is the group that currently has the goods. And what their goal may be. The sub Festival is coming up. I see what you mean. Their methods have precise, were precise and effective. It's very likely they are exploiting the visions granted by the gem. The situation could be even more precarious than we thought. Mm, I don't think we should hide this any longer. Let's head back to Carvel Rebut and explain the situation to the guards. We return to here? Uh, no, we won't sewer the war. Went back a lot. Yeah, they're still here. Are the men's over there? If you don't know what to say, then don't say anything at all. You have to stop interrupting me. But I was just telling the truth. <sighs> You're hopeless. Yeah, it was absurd, but if he was just telling the truth. Uh, and you? Shouldn't have helped him. Uh, can we go over? No, oh, we can just teleport there. Better. Rest here for now, you two. I'll be back as soon as I've spoken to the guards. Paimon hopes the sub -Zero's festival doesn't get ruined. Things are turning out to be more complicated than we expected. But so far, it doesn't have anything to do with the festival. Oh? And what things would those be? Sounds like something the General Mahamatra should know about. Sino, what are you doing here? I'm here on business. Investigating an unusual robbery case. Wait, could it be the same one we've been investigating? This sounds like you've been hard at work. Yeah, but that shouldn't have been reported yet. So maybe that was robbed before being robbed Just again. doing my duty. By the way, I brought something that I think might help with the investigation. Here, have some Parisara pudding. How? Oh, this helps. Um, okay, thanks. Well, find any clues? They uh, say the proof is in the pudding, after all. Uh, what was that on the original one? Because... That sounds like... That's a very specific English uh, uh, expression. <coughs> Did you have to tell that joke when Paimon had a mouthful of pudding? She almost choked! And he was just casually carrying a pudding around. Very funny, don't tell me you did all that just to make a joke. Anyway, back to the matter at hand. Tell me more about this robbery case of yours.
Hmm, I see. So you and Candace already did a preliminary investigation. Mm -hmm. Yep, Candace can tell you the rest when she gets back. That merchant group was really suspicious. All right, you can leave the rest to me. On a different note, do you have any other plans for the day? Oh, we'll probably head back with Candace. We're meeting up with everyone to prepare for the su- Paimo? But isn't he in on the su super awesome dinner we're planning tonight? <laughs> Silence working quarters aren't too far from the hills. Did they not tell him about the surprise? Hmm. Strange. Sounds like you're hiding something from me. Uh, what? <laughs> no, not at all. We'd never do anything like that. Hmm. Is in on this stuff already. Sino should be too. Do you know why henna berries can't tell a lie? Um why? Because they're always going to be red straight through. Go on. You think so? Then tell me your secret. S seriously, there's no secret. Is that so? You're not afraid of ending up like the bass in the lake? Another? What? Because they always wind up eating their worms. I can't do this anymore. Yeah, who knew being interrogated by the General Mahamatra was this miserable? <laughs> uh, someone's being interrogated. Did I miss something? Candace! Thank goodness you're back. Please save us. What happened? It can't be anything too bad if Sinus grinning from here to here. Nice to see you, Candace. The Traveler already updated me on everything, so you can leave the robbery case to me. But when I asked about their plans this afternoon, they started dodging my questions. This afternoon? Aren't we heading back to Port Ormos to work on the surprise? C Candace! It's supposed to be a secret! It's alright, Sano has always been part of the plan. What? Why didn't you say something sooner? Well, once you told me about the case, I realized I might not make it this afternoon. I was going to ask you to tell the group, but you decided to end the conversation. Seriously? So we had to listen to a couple of Sino jokes for nothing? It was three jokes, actually. It makes three like that. Uh, right. We never told you who was involved. Apologies. That was our mistake. Well, with that resolved, could you tell the group I've got a case? Oh, and these are the items I was supposed to get. Could you take them back with you? Sure thing. We've got this. Okay, so that's not our problem anymore. I would hope so. I just handed it to you. Oh, enough already! Is it? Damn, I have one to check if the guys are still there, but Sino probably won't. I don't want to go around. Those terrible jokes. Uh, I already got to spend time with Sino outside of my work. I'm sure he's just happy you came back for the Subzero special. That explains why he had all those jokes ready to go, even while on the job. Hi, Mom will never understand how he doesn't give himself a cringe attack. Yeah, she's having a cringe attack. Candace? Did you have another vision? Yes, I saw two people enter the alley over there. They seem suspicious. I think they were talking about something dangerous. Dangerous? Maybe they're the bandits from earlier. Did you see what they looked like? No, unfortunately, the visions are very blurry. I could only catch a few words and some vague images. Then let's sneak up on them. 
If they're the ones looking to cause trouble during the Sub-Zero's festival, we should catch them in the act! No, nothing. Secret signal. Explosion goes off. Hey, did you hear that? Sounds like they're talking about something dangerous. Let's try to get closer. When passes by the flower carriage, we will launch it. Vector the object's trajectory. Completely foolproof. Stop replaying at once. Uh, uh, <laughs> something wrong. Wait, it's you two? Oh, what kind of terrible plan were you talking about just now? Something about explosions and the flower carriage? The connections we make reveal a lot about the mind. Uh, the fact you went to a dark place simply shows the way you think. Honestly, Paimo, what do you think we were doing? We're just discussing the birthday surprise. Not long ago. Like I said, that's not it. We have more than just a heartless transactional relationship. You are overthinking the whole thing. It it was your theory in the first place that Merak disappeared after working for you all this time without anything in return. I think I'm allowed some dramatics. Merak hasn't come back since I sent it out for coffee. Ah, perhaps seeing the underlings at the academia pick up coffee for their seniors thought Merak something about its own situation. You're saying I treat Merak like my inferior? Oh, never. I'm just worried Merak has some sort of awful experience and decided to run away. Maybe something triggered an existential crisis and Merak became so angry about its mechanical existence, he decided to never come back. Certainly an imaginative conclusion. Not an impossible. I created Merak myself. I perform regular maintenance every week. There's no way Merrick would be the heartless. And here you are in Porto Ormos telling me all this when I'm supposed to be working. Uh, it's a good arrangement to you, actually. I was hoping you could take a look at my proposal. Uh, I thought you were confident in your abilities. It's not like that. I just want to confirm the route for the flower carriage. Unfortunately, I know nothing about the route for the, the flower carriage. What? You're not involved in the festival at all? The Academia couldn't convince you to help out? Organizing festival is not part of my job description. You really think the Academia could convince me otherwise? You've got a point. Well, could you at least take a look at the final explosion? Explosion? Yep, the candy tower I designed is going to hit the floor carriage at a designated time and explode into pieces. Shooting candy in all directions. Not a dangerous kind of explosion though. It's supposed to look like fireworks. But fireworks simply just look like not an actual one. I started a bunch of food engineering papers. So it's completely safe. The candy is soft and the packaging is uh, as smooth as silk flower fabric. Once the secret scene... Once I received the secret signal, Mirak will activate the mechanism from afar. That way, I can make sure the explosion goes off at the right time and place. And when is that supposed to be? When the Dado Archon passes by the flower carriage. Once he will receive the signal, we will launch it in Kabon. Don't forget the factor in the object's trajectory and the humidity level. Already done, the mechanism inside the candy tower controls for those factors. The place is completely foolproof. Hmm. Okay, 
So that's what all this was about? I think the camera slated it down. Uh, you had your mindset on a very different interpretation. interpretation. Um, well, about that. Well, you guys are, were talking about sh exploding something next to the carriage with the arc on side. It's alright, let me explain. The ability to see the future? That's incredible. Fascinating. You formulated a hypothesis based on your interpretation of the gem's abilities, yet the results failed to corroborate it. Perhaps this calls for a different postulation? Um, maybe you could dumb that down a little. You assume you are seeing the future, but what if you were actually seeing the past? No, she saw the explosion and the crate before that happened. The past? Uh, Jahangir said this was the second time his wind generator broke down. Uh, mechanical failures of the nature come with predictable consequences. His lack of surprise suggests something similar happened in the past. As for the falling crates, during a busy time like the Subzero's festival, people often stack their crates on both sides of the street, likely leading to similar accidents. Seeing people have a private conversation in a secluded place is even more common. So you're saying we just happen to witness events that have occurred before? This is for mundane events to appear special. So either you can predict the future and make it deviate of course, or you happen to witness the past. Yeah, the second option seems a bit easier to swallow. It's not that... I that's not why I brought it up. I was simply trying to offer a change in perspective. Well, it does explain what we saw. The conditions and actions required to trigger the power are still unclear. If you plan to investigate further, you should pay attention to those two factors. Speaking of a change of perspective, maybe you were the one that scared Mirak off. Ingenious thought, if Mirak and I have never met before, yeah, Merrick should be used to you, especially after I programmed you to recognize your voice. Something else must have happened. Uh, Kaveh, if Merrick is missing, what's that thing coming toward us right now? Hmm. Uh, Merrick, where have you been? Pip pip. Hmm. You went looking for more coffee beans because the shop was out of stock? Hey, if they're out, they're out. You don't have to go that far. Mirak sure is persistent. Candice, something on your mind? Uh, how does Mirak ask for coffee at other places? Uh, do anybody understand him? It was I was just thinking about Mr. Alhaitan's theory. It makes sense until you factor in the robbery in the desert. Huh. Oh, you're all here? Something wrong? You look troubled. Just trying to work through some mysteries. Alright, it's almost time for our meeting. We'll catch you up on the way. I'm needed at the house of Dina. See you later. Yep, bye bye! Hmm? No. Go to the gathering spot. Why is that yeah. <gasps> uh, she as well. That's a view to finally show up. All young and capable, yeah, and yet no one of you could get here before a senior such as myself. Apologies, Madam Farzan, we uh, got caught up in a discussion. Discussion more important than the candy tower. Finding a suitable material for the candy, that was supposed to be the priority, or we might not make it in time for the parade. Well, did you figure something out? 
Yes, took me several dozen papers, but I got it in the end. Well, at least you young people work fast. Alright, now it's no time to slack off. We need to focus or we still might not make any time. You're right, we should leave the other case to Sino. There's not much we can do from here anyway. Well, then let's get to it. Don't make me order you around like little kids. Oh, and Kava, you wanted a mechanism to simulate the parade, right? I finished it. Already? That's amazing. Uh, not more difficult than the Haravatat standard curriculum a hundred years ago. Here, let me know if this works. If it works. Thanks so much, Madam Farzan. It was my helping me test this out. I need to observe the carriage to make adjustments to the candy, candy tower. Sure, just leave it to me. I'm supposed to. Oh, that's a new thing. While the flower carriage is in motion, you can change its route to avoid obstacles. The flower carriage will lose HP when it hits an obstacle. And if its HP is fully depleted, you will fail the challenge. Additionally, collect as many flowers as possible to fulfill the uh, score requirement. You could have some animation when it's changing lanes. Not bad, looks like a successful simulation. Thanks to you too, I already have a pretty good idea of how the tar should look. Not sure I see how. Uh, Alright, now it's time for the production phase. Uh, go ahead and sketch out the design, we'll deal with the candy part. We are calling the Ia. They've been at Miss Daniel's house the past couple of days, working on the candy decorations. I'm sure they have it under control. Wait, now that you mention it, why are we meeting in the city? Wouldn't that be more convenient? Because we'd be right under the Daniel Arkham's nose. It would be too easy to run into her. Being further away from Sumeru City means our chances of getting caught are lower. The last thing we want is for the Daniel Arkham to discover the surprise. Hmm, what's going on here? I thought I just heard my name. <laughs> hmm. A cover. Madame Farson. You call this a design? What possessed you to choose that kind of material for the roof. Oh, I... <laughs> the Zen overturns centuries of summer architectural tradition, the Dream the Arkham would be devastated if she saw it. Uh, yes, alright, I mean, just look at the, the facade. Completely unacceptable. Huh. I'm sure you can come up with a new design in a few days, right? Of course. I'll get something to you first thing tomorrow. So it was conversation about architecture. Hmm. I think innovation can be a good thing. Don't mind us, Arkon. Kaveh is an intelligent man. He just goes overboard sometimes. 
Uh, really lets his imagination run wild. Don't worry, it's a simple fix. I see. Nothing to worry about. He'll revise the design right away. Alright, if you say so. Still, I'd be happy to take a look at the plans. I might be able to give some pointers. Oh, is this not a good time? Well, about that. They all look extremely uncomfortable. Are they afraid to show me their work? Or embarrassed to talk about the problem? The plans... Oh, I almost forgot. My friend has them. The guy is always causing trouble. I'll fetch them in a bit. Mm, they're definitely up to something. Yellow. Save us now. <laughs> Arco. Oh, Nilo, did you need something? Yes, I've been looking for you all over. The folks at Zuber Theater has some questions about the program for the sub zero Festival. Uh, oh, then I'll head over right away. Thank you for coming all this way, Nilo. No, thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to pay us a visit. It's no trouble, I had a lot of free time lately. I heard things were getting lively at Port Ormond, so I decided to come take a look. Well, I guess we should head back, Nilo. See you all some other time. If I was quiet for the whole scene. Sorry for yelling just now, Kavi. Don't worry, I have nothing but absolute confidence in your design. Uh, I don't make a habit of speaking like that to a capable junior. It's alright, I understand. Oh, Kavi, by the way. Uh, how to it, Kavi? We need those plans. Uh, do I really need to watch you do your, the revisions for this to get done? I'm going, I'm going. Uh, just wanted to say, you can always co come to me if you ever need guidance or help with anything. Or money. Don't worry, Arkon, it's all under control. Take care, Arkon. Let's move our mini spot to Paris DI, just in case. Port Ormos was a good choice in terms of location, but we forgot the factor of the festivities. Should we go now? I think that's the best choice. Kavi can focus on designing the candy tower. The rest of us will transport the materials. Don't worry, Kavi. I'll support you no matter what design you come up with. Thanks. When the person says she doesn't normally Yell at her juniors, but I feel like just got a glimpse of a true senior researcher. Even though there's nothing senior about her appearance. Uh, Alright, it's decided. Let's meet tomorrow at Party's DA. Uh, ah, it's still here. <laughs> and we we're just acting, but now I can't stop thinking about all the changes I could make to the design. Maybe I need a break from commissions. Uh, the thing isn't here anymore. No Poor Kavi, getting scuttled by a senior like that. I should treat him to a nice meal next time. What's going on? How can there be okay. Now, I'm way too late the next morning.
we change the location so much so we don't forget what summer is like. Maybe she overslept. And now they're speaking. I don't know. That has never happened before. Why did he have that line? Did anyone see her on the way here? We're here! I... What's got you all looking so worried? Miss Nilo isn't here yet. Oh! Maybe she's just running late. That's not like her. She's come early every other time we've met. Besides, Sino went to the Grand Bazaar to meet her meet up with her before the meeting. But I was told she had left first thing this morning. Why is he voiced now? What's going on with the voice? And now Sino's here, but Nilo's still nowhere to be found. That's exactly why we're worried. Any progress on the robbery case? We interrogated the people in charge of the caravan on the day of the incident. But they were technically the victims of the case, and all their goods were lost, so there was no evidence to investigate. Hmm. Their goods are certainly suspicious, but until we recover them, all we can do is to observe the caravan under the guise of protection. We contacted the original seller of the gem. Apparently, he sold the other half to a young man in the desert, but that's all he could tell us. Hmm. Your brother? So, to summarize, the location of the hardest materials and the second gem are completely mystery. And, Neil, and now Nilo is missing as well. Wait, you think Nilo's disappearance is connected to all this? We're still not sure if the three events are connected, but if they are, it would probably have something to do with Nilo's dance of sub -Zeros. The dance is a key part of the festival. If someone was trying to sabotage the celebrations, Nilo would be the unnatural target. <laughs> Traveler, Candace, there's no time to waste. Let's try to follow her trail. Tainari, can you stay back and explain the situation to everyone when they arrive? Of course, it's still possible Nilo was simply held up by something urgent. I'll wait here. You heard memories. Let oh, you should go. I'll wait here. Can I just go sign on? Did you need something? We're looking for Nilu. Do you know where she is? Nilu? Hmm. She left bright and early this morning. Said she had to help out a friend. Was she by herself? And did you happen to see which gate she used to leave the city? Well, she definitely left alone. As for the direction, uh, I think she left through the gate to the north. So, the complete opposite direction of Pardis D.I. Did something happen? This is no time for practical jokes, you know. Mr. Zubair, could you send word to Pardis D.I. if Nilu comes back to the Grand Bazaar? Of course. I'm sure she just got caught up in something. Still, let me know if you find her. We will. All right. Let's leave through the North Gate and see what we can find. Yeah, I don't think there was initially this guy so worried. Be on your way now. Don't waste any more time. She left on her own. On the opposite direction. It's not like something happened on the way. She intentionally did something different. <gasps> Miss Navita, have you seen Nilu this morning? Nilu? Oh yes, I saw her head out of the city. She was wearing the prettiest outfit. 
Which way did she go? That way, I believe. Was there anyone following her? Did everything look okay? I mean, it looked like she was in a good mood. She even stopped to say hello. And no, I didn't see anyone else. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Yeah, let's leave everybody worried. Huh. No. I thought maybe you'll mention. Excuse me. Have any of you seen Miss Nilu from Zubair Theater come this way? Yes, General. I saw Miss Nilu cross the bridge after leaving the city this morning. There was a man waiting for her on the other side. Wait, could that be the person who bought the second gem? Did you see the man's face? Unfortunately, no. He was too far away. <laughs> Understood. If she comes back this way, tell her to find me at Pardis D.I. Yes, General. Let's keep going. And I can't even talk to you. This wasn't always here, was it? I don't think I... Maybe I did this path once. So I'm not sure that was there. The trail ends here. There's no one else we can ask for clues. There are intersecting sets of footprints on the ground. We could try tracking some of them. With this many traces, it's easy to get mixed up. Let me take a closer look. She probably left elemental uh, traces behind since she has a fish. Wait, the figure it's. Excuse me for a moment, you two. Sure. We'll continue analyzing the footprints over here. Those run away if you find anything. Judging by the traces, they must have turned left. It's easy to get mixed up with this many footprints. We need to be thorough. Wow, she recognized them. It's the nice golden Nara. Arasak must hide. Uh, uh, why would you need to hide? We're friends, aren't we? Friends. Arasak is friends with the golden Nara. But Arapa said Arasaka can't talk to many people right now. Oh, why? He thinks Arasaka will let everything slip by accident. If Arasaka shouldn't say anymore. Let things slip, huh? Okay, we just have one question. Did you see a girl walk by? A Nara of red hair. A Nara like a beautiful flower. A red Nara who's free like a Padisara. Yes, Arasaka saw the Nara. Really? Which way did she go? She went towards a messy pile of rocks with another Nara. But Arasaka doesn't know them. A messy pile of rocks? Probably the ruins near the fane of... Ashvata? Oh, that makes sense! Thank you, Arasaka. Uh, Arasaka is happy to help Kain Golden Nara, and Kain Golden Nara has helped Arasaka in the past. Arasaka, yeah, I don't remember what where the other we thing met. You yeah, Arasaka doesn't know anything. Arasaka won't say anything else. Uh, yeah. Well, guess that ends this conversation. They have a surprise for us, too. Well, let's tell Sino and Candace what we learned. The Fane of Ashwata? The footprints lead in that direction as well. Where did you get this information? Could we tell we talked to Arnara? I mean, Nahida knows. Well, uh, uh, we were tipped off by 
are some friends. We can vouch for the information. All right. I trust you. Let's walk through them. Hopefully. Uh, uh. <laughs> Another vision? Yes, but this time I only heard faint voices. What did they say? It's not like two people were having a conversation. There was someone asking, will she find out? And something about following the tracks. Was Nilu one of the voices? I couldn't tell. The voices were too muffled. <sighs> Let's head towards the ruins for now. The vision could mean we're on the right track. It's a big partner still. Welcome. Down there. No, oh, yeah, there. Finish sealing my Arlequin too. We should be getting close. This area is usually full of treasure hoarders. Hmm. Milo could be in danger. Look over there. It's Milo! Hey! I don't think she can hear us. We're too far away. Oh, I can't believe we walked this far already. Huh. We should be getting close, right? Milu! Huh? Milu! We knew there'd be a bad guy with you! Leave her alone, you! Uh... Hmm. Huh? Uh, by bad guy, do you mean me? Uh, what are you doing here? Am I not supposed to be here? What are you guys doing here? Can't we stick to one question at a time? Oh wait, that one doesn't count! What dreadful cacophony! Are hmm? we not allowed a quiet place to practice? Okay, that was unexpected. Sarouche! Good to see you again. Ah, Pale Floater! And my Yasna Potty! You were not voiced, were you? You know this red floating being? I'm a noble party and the bloom guard of Quarina. I uh, Sarush is a party we met in the Vorukasha Oasis. She's really nice. You just have to get used to the way she talks. Mm, Mr. Cessus, there I don't know a person. Oh, I mean this cracked widget. Widget. I That's cracked. So you are the one who bought the other gem! A Ouijat I... Pari. Sounds like something I've read about before. Then you can probably guess what really happened. Now's not the time for riddles. Everyone in the city is still worried about Nilu. Worried about me? But I left a message for everyone. What? Message? What message? We never received anything like that. Tell me Rosh New fell asleep halfway there. Again! Oh, hearing that name, this is all starting to check out. I don't remember my name. Man, that was way too long ago. I don't remember a party that was sleeping. Who is Rosh New? Uh, the party that was supposed to pass my pass on my message. She did look really tired earlier. Hold on, let's take this one thing at a time. 
first, what are you guys doing here? Well, that explanation started the first time I met Sorush. They're here. Hmm. <laughs> I've had enough of these insufferable rascals wreaking havoc in the desert right and left. <sighs> okay, I kind of remember. Wake up, Rashnu. We need to teach them a lesson, or we'll never get another good night's sleep. <sighs> I'll trap them with my thorns when they pass by, and you can take care of the rest. Ah. So the war vines. But there were bombs. Perfect! They don't stand a chance! Let's give them a taste of sheer terror! Uh. What in the... thorns?! Boss! The wagon is stuck! I thought it would be like the turns from the... Ah... Uh, damn, I forgot the name. Uh, the Hilichurus Shaman. Huh? Now! The bombs falling from the sky? Oh. Oh yeah, okay, that. So Rush can borrow the power of Neuroda Fruits and Strand Merchant Carts. Source control a limited number of new other fruits during this operation. Behold my might! Uh oh. Ah, cute. Blue bombs! There are bombs falling from the sky! Ah! Weren't they a bit far from the oasis <laughs> to care about that? Perish, you scoundrels! They've probably had enough, don't you think? Who might you be? The name is Setos. I was out for a walk when I heard the commotion, so I came to check it out. Since you already destroyed your goods, I'd say you can stop here. These kinds of situations can easily get out of hand. Brazen youth! Have you any idea to whom you speak? The Bloomguard, Sorush, the renowned among renowned among the party. All children of the desert know your name. Was... she was a reef. Oh no, there were some reminds that knew about her. Yeah, okay. So you're that not entirely sense. ignorant after all. Fine, I'm willing to call it a day. But if those scoundrels continue to disrupt the peace of this land, I will show no mercy! The two of us really hit off after that, so I became her guide in Summer City. You really can get along with anyone, huh? Sethos fulfilled his duty well. I have come here for a monumental task. What task? I heard Lesser Lord Kusanali is currently celebrating her birthday in the city. As her familiars, the Pari have decided to bestow upon her a special gift. As decided by Elder Zervan, the Bloomguard of the Pari, that would be me, will present the Dance of Sebzerus to Lesser Lord Kusanali, a tradition passed down over the centuries. Hmm. I told Sorush that thanks was already decided, but she insisted on meeting Nilo in person. Good thing I did! How was I to know the current version is nothing like the original? Well, there are bound to be changes over the centuries. I was so excited to see the original version. I begged Miss Sorush to teach me. It's such a rare opportunity. If I present this special ver version at the Sub-Zero Festival, I'm sure the Dendro Arkham will love it. 
And all the spectators too. I appreciated young Nilu's determination, so I invited her here to practice in peace. Oh, so that's what happened. Um But she left the town alone. Shouldn't you guys have to go into town to invite her? Just like we've been chasing bad guys for days, but in the end there were no bad guys at all. It was all for me heated surprise. Hold on, don't forget about the guys with the powers. You still haven't figured out what they were up to. Wrecking havoc in the desert is trying to turn a profit by illegally excavating ruins and tombs, that's my guess. That would explain why they chose a remote path away from Aru village. They're lucky you didn't catch them in the act. A <laughs> few moments with me and they'd be begging for their days of baking in the hot sun. Okay, remind Paimon not to get on Candace's bad side. By the way, Miss Candace, I notice you're carrying the other half of the witch at eye. Oh yeah! What exactly is this thing? It was a gift from King Deshra to Lesser Lord Kusanali. Hmm. It, it probably belongs to Greater Lord Kurkadavata, actually. But given what happened to Irmin, so... That's right, so you've read the legend too? I only know the basics. I never thought these two gems could be connected to the relic from the legend. I only bought the gem because it seemed like there was something special about it. The legend didn't come into play until I checked certain texts back at the Temple of Silence. The legend has it that King Dash Dashrach and the Goddess of Flowers, Lady Malikata, both prepare surprise gifts for Lesser Lord Kuzanali during their first Subzars festival. They scatter candy along the, a path to lead her towards the site of the banquet. Eventually, she arrived at the lake, where she heard the sound of music. Lord Awamar was plucking the strings from an instrument while Lady Malikata uh, performed a beautiful dance. Together, the two extended their heartfelt wishes to their dear friend, and each bestowed upon her a precious gift. Lady Malikata gave her the Arena to protect the rainforest, and Lord Awamar gave her the Ouijat Eye to record the moments they shared together. But the Ouijat Eye was lost after the cataclysm in Conria, buried deep beneath the sands. Uh. And Lesser Lord Kusanali turned the Quarina into a divine bird, tasked with guarding the border between new birth and death, until the bird shattered into pieces and gave rise to the party. Uh. So Candace actually saw things recorded by the WeChat Eye. I was definitely surprised. He still has the power to record events after all this time. It's far seems to only resonate with people of our Mars, also known as the descendants of King Dashrath. Despite the damage, it still holds many scenes from the past. The faint voices I heard earlier, could it actually have been Lord Armar and the Goddess of Flowers? What are you planning to do with the two pieces of the eye? If you don't mind, I'd like to place them under the custody of the Temple of Silence. Shouldn't we give to Nahida? It was, well, according to legend, a present to her. I agree with that decision. Technically, the eye belongs to Lesser Lord Kusanali. Yeah. Why don't you just give it back? Not sure that would be wise. Why not? Even if she remembers the story, I fear all that remains in this fragmented piece of memory is grief. A record of sad memories. As Nahida's friend, I don't want her to feel sad on her birthday. Yeah, okay, but we still should give it back to her at a later date. I don't fully understand your reasoning, but if this is the decision of the group, as well as my Yasnapati, then I shall object no further. Well, are you going to let me teach the girl the dance of Subzeros, or do you intend to drag this on incessantly? Uh, she's got a point. Now that we know it was all a false alarm, let's go back and tell everyone what happened. They're probably worried. 
I'll tell the other Matra to keep an eye out for that caravan. If we find evidence of any misconduct, we won't let them off lightly. Guys, I'll stay here then. There's a bunch of monsters nearby, so it's always good to have someone stay guard. Sorry to make you worry, everyone. I'll head back and help once I'm done learning these things. Focus! No more distractions! Now, follow along! Yes, Mr. Sorish. Watch closely. One and two and... One and two and... And... Set us up. You go ahead, I'll stay here. What isn't supposed to be today, the thing? Oh, we haven't seen her in a while. They're finally back. I was so worried. I was this close to saying some marks after you. Nothing bad happened, right? Nope. It was all just a misunderstanding. That's a relief. I'm glad it's all taken care of. How are the preparations going? Well, Kavi's diagram is done. It looks like he pulled an all-nighter to finish it. So he went home to sleep. We built a frame of the tower while we were gone. I think I'll check it over later, though. We were so worried about you all, it was kind of hard to focus. In any case, there's not much left to do. If we all work together, we'll be done in no time. Great! Speaking of the parade, could I ask you for favorings? Yeah, anytime. As long as something I can do, anytime. He's alright. The Academia wants the representatives from each darshan to nominate someone to serve as the Knight of Flowers for the parade. After some discussion, we all agree uh, you will be the best person for the job. What do you think? You'll be my owner. Great. You're the hero of Sumeru and a personal friend of the Dendro Arco. We all thought you were the best candidate. Make sure you knock it out of the park. Hey, don't stress him out. Wait, are you also in the parade this time, Candace? You're playing the tambour, right? Yes, I'm providing the background music for Miss Nilo's dance. If you like it, you're welcome in our village anytime. I'm more than happy to allow you to sleep. You can count on me. Looking forward to it. Actually, each. I have a favor to ask as well. She's being voiced, and not the others. These are the decorations for the flower carriage. Could you bring them to the sanctuary of Surasthana and hang them on the carriage? Oh, it would mean a lot to have the Knight of Flowers personally decorated. My pleasure. You can count Everyone sleep, splits up the remaining tasks, the anticipation for the festival makes for quick work. Before know it, the sun has set and everyone breaks for the night. <gasps> We're done! Now we just have to go to the sanctuary of Suristana and hang the decorations on the flower carriage! Huh, wonder what the sanctuary looks like the night before the festival. Let's go check it out! No, oh, everybody split up, right? <laughs> Ah, the carriage parade. Uh, okay, I can park that. It looks a bit dangerous to go down here like that. Ah, uh, and she goes sitting. Yeah. 
was all right before. My preparations are done. Wait until they start the parade tomorrow. Wait until tomorrow. Let's take another look. Yeah. Yeah, there's no need to take pictures there. There has been avoiding me lately. They are acting squarely, like they're hiding something. Let's get to the bottom of this after the parade. But first, birthday celebrations with delicious candy, a beautiful flower carriage, and. Try to keep away in there, Archon. Hmm. Time to head out, dear Night of Flowers. When I woke up, I was riding a flower carriage. Not even that. I was... It was my birthday. And then the flowers in their tennis found me. Arkham, we finally found you. The people can't wait to meet you. As the subs are special again, everyone's mowing gather around me. Ah, that's a temple. <gasps> are those Parisaras? Everyone prepared a bunch of surprises for me. And it exploded in all directions, like that's in fireworks. Ready? 3, 2, 1. Oh, I didn't read. And at the moment, the world erupted in a brilliant color. Actually, I have a surprise of my own. Come on out. Oh, everybody's seen me. Are not ready. I was riding a flower carriage. I felt just like a dream. Never had a win in a more perfect day. Is there anybody I can talk to or mention they are now? The part of the flower carriage has concluded without a hinge and we will return to part is DI. And the most important one doesn't have a voice. Uh, here's to a successful birthday surprise. Cheers. I knew it. I knew you had it in you. Kave, you truly are a genius architect. Um, but the person, I think you might have had a little too much to drink. She hasn't been able to contain her excitement since 
since saw the candy tower hit the floor carriage. I even saw her sneak a few extra drinks just now. Hey, we all deserve to lose it up once in a while. That's what festivals are for. By the way, Candace, you play, your playing was amazing out there. How come you've never showed us before? Yeah, shouldn't she know? They're always walking together. Oh, it's just something I do in passing. Uh, when the night watch is calm and the stars are out, I like to play a few tunes for the time. You're saying the stars in the sky get to hear you play more than us? No fair. Honestly, I think Miss Nilo's dancing was a good start of the event. Wait, when did this become about me? I see, so the way giant eye is now under the custody of the Temple of Silence. You can borrow it for research if you want. No need, certain objects merely represent a period of history. Once the events they exemplify are brought to light, there is very little value in further study. Yeah, but people from the deserts can literally see the past is um, better than history books. Uh, I thought you'd at least want to see it. A legendary gem like that is sure to be a wonder to behold. Couldn't hurt to take a look. I'm not about to make the trip to the Temple of Silence for that, it's too far. You and your harvest tendencies, I swear. Although if someone ever brings it to the Academia for appraisal and certification, I wouldn't mind taking a look. On that topic, I wonder how much it's worth. I never really thought about that, it's kinda like an ancient palace in a way. Not many people are going to break off a piece of the wall and send it for appraisal. Uh, that actually sounds like something my Darshan would do. <laughs> I've heard some of my of the other classmen have quite a sense of curiosity. Uh, if that does happen, write a report and send it to my office. Uh, is that protocol or something? No, I just like to know when interesting things are brought back to the academia. I might want to check it out. I didn't even bother asking. I should just keep my mouth shut. Interesting, you use reports as a sort of alarm clock system. An alarm? Yes, that's what I heard just now. Dear friends, a critical moment has arrived. Oh. Wait, I didn't hear anything. It's not like the Hermanubis would call on you and not me. It is time to come together and play genius in the... Is that Kali calling me? Sorry, gotta go. Just vocation this, just vocation that. Why is Kali gonna give me an excuse to leave? Everyone seems to be having a lot of fun. What about you? Are you having fun? Yeah, I just know this will be the most unforgettable birthday I'll ever have. So you're just stating now that there will be no better birth, no better Sun Service festivals in the game ever. Great Archon, you have a long life ahead of you. Isn't it too early to draw such a conclusion? Not at all. Sometimes a single moment is all it takes to know you remember something for the rest of your life. Yeah, you didn't say you remember it. You said this is the best you ever had. Your name's Sarush, right? Would you and your friends ever consider coming to live in Summer City? Um, thank you for your kindness, Great Archon. But we party have our own duties. And we find the city a bit too noisy. Is that so? If you spend more time among people, you might start to enjoy the commotion. <laughs> well, that's also true. I have fond memories of my adventures with Pale Floater and my Yasnapati. Ah, oh, really? Paimon's happy to hear that. It felt like this Subzeru's festival had surprises for everyone. When you called out the Aranara, Paimon nearly fell out of the sky in shock. Can she just fall like that? Uh, I'm glad you liked it. I told them to stay hidden so no one knew what was coming. No wonder 
Arasaka was so flustered, he was trying to keep it a secret. Oh, Paimon's sure everyone in Sumeru loved the surprise. It felt like a dream. A dream, huh? Nahida? What? Oh, it's nothing. I was just wondering if this whole thing might be a dream. Oh, is that exposition? Then we should do our best to remember it. Huh? Let's capture this moment forever, so that even if we wake up, this moment will, be, will never be lost. And that must have been what our mom wanted when he gave Ruka the Vata the witch and I. Even though we don't have anything that powerful, we still have our own way to stop time. But how can we do that? Hmm. Alright everyone, close together, please. Uh, people on the left, make some room. Someone stepping on my show. Sorry, Madam Farza, there's not a lot of space. Pale floater! This spot is reserved for the mighty Pari! Uh, so that's why you made a picture. I never thought about it that way before. From now on, every time you look at the picture, you remember the joy of this moment. I don't have experience with this kind of stuff, but I trust you. I believe with all my heart that this time, the time will stop for us in this moment. You get in the picture, Kave. Just need to set a timer and we're good. Can't your suitcase do that remotely? Are we ready? 3, 2, 1. Happy birthday! Yeah, I get it. It'll be kind of hard to have every voice actor here, but at least the traveler Nahida should be here for the, the final cutscene. All right, almost two hours. Oh, and I've got a picture. Mm, yeah, I don't know if I do the challenges now. Uh, I think I'll leave the challenge for another time. Okay, got that. Uh, I did get a bit of that. I'm uh, probably from the challenge in between. Alright, and this, let's see, is rocking carriage. Ah, it's probably... Uh, actually, those challenges may be kind of fast. There's a more research to for Ah, yeah, I'll probably have to talk to people before and stuff. Yeah, okay, yeah, let's leave those challenges for another day. Okay, so yeah, the story part of the festival is done. Okay, so we're good. And I'm out.